as interview question and answer question number three what is the difference between single and multiple state statement this question is asking about what will happen if we use multiple set statement in place of single set statement single and multiple set statement in SAS data state results differently we have following three data set test one test two and test three test one data set it has four rows test two data set it has two rows and test three data set it has one row when we run this first program, then we will obtain the result as shown in the right side of the window. This is the first table. When we run second program, test two, the output is shown in the right window, right side of the window, table two. And when we when we run the test three program, then we will obtain the result as shown in the right side of the window, table number three. Let me check those result from SAS window. I'm going to run these three program here test one test two and test three and we are trying to observe corresponding result test one is four row test two two row test three one row now going back to the previous one now what will happen if we, if we use single set statement with multiple data set? This is the program one, combined one program. When we run this combined one program, that means test one, test two, and test three data will append with each other. That means append with one after another. As a result, we will obtain seven rows. First four rows from test one, Two row from test two and last row from test three. And similarly, when we use data combined to single set statement with by statement here, by sex variable, when we run this program, then we will obtain the result as shown in the second table at the right side of the window, where variable sex is sorted. We obtain seven rows, but variable sex variable is sorted here. Let me check this result. I'm going to check combine one and combine two. Let me check here. When we run this program, combine one, it will append one after another. Four rows from test one two rows from test two and one row from test three similarly combine two we have seven records here seven rows but variable six is sorted here now the multiple one the last one is using multiple set statement what will happen if we use multiple set statement there is a data combine three set test three set test two set test one and run when we run this program the result is completely different it displays records from the last set statement where the number of the record is controlled by the minimum record of the provided data set in our case, minimum record is 1, which is provided in test 3. That means the result will be one record from the last statement. That means one record from the test 1. The record will count it from the first record. That means it will result first record of the test 1. The result will be as shown in the right side of the window. Let me check this result. When I run this program, it will obtain only one record. This record is from test one and this record is first record of the test one. 
This is all about question number three. Thank you.